Solvar Direction, successful attacks by the Russian armed forces in several areas. The capture of Artemovsky, Kromovo, about a week ago can actually be considered a transfer of initiative to the Russian army at Bakhmut. Only now the Russian armed forces are attacking in three areas at once, and the situation of the Ukrainian armed forces front line is getting worse. On the southern flank of Bakhmut, combined Russian units successfully stormed the heights adjacent to Kleshchivka. As a result, the Russian armed forces captured the tactically important height 235.7 in the north of the village. Control over this position allows RF forces to keep under constant surveillance all approaches to Kleshchivka, as well as landings further north in the direction of Krasny, Ivanovsky and the formations of the 5th Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine cannot do anything about this due to the complete dominance of the RF Armed Forces in the area. Also, soldiers of the 102nd Regiment of the 150th Motorized Rifle Division of the Russian Armed Forces are with great success developing an offensive in a dacha cooperative southwest of Bakhmut, lost back in June. With further advancement, this will seriously worsen the position of the Ukrainian armed forces in Krasny. To the northwest, Russian paratroopers continue their assault from the Berkovsky Reservoir. Now the fighting is going on for an important stronghold, equipped in the Valyanovsky nursery. At the same time, units of the 92nd Battalion of the 107th TROV Regiment of the Armed Forces of Ukraine tried to counterattack from the outskirts of Bogdanovka, but the attack was easily repulsed. And with a retaliatory strike, the AFU assault group was destroyed. And that's not all, Russian fighters have intensified their offensive in the north of Soldar. Operating from Belogorovka, the Russian armed forces servicemen managed to significantly penetrate the defenses of the Ukrainian armed forces along the railway line east of Vesely. This advancement allows RF forces to begin covering the Vesela Razdalovka line, which complicates the situation of Ukrainian 10 OGSHBRs at the site. With a further offensive, this may force the AFU to retreat. Kupiansky Section strengthening the defense of the Ukrainian armed forces near Kupiansk. Fighting continues in the vicinity of Sinkovka near Kupiansk. Russian troops, having gained a foothold on the northern outskirts of the village, took up defensive positions, and Ukrainian formations are building a new line in the event of the loss of Sinkovka. Power points and powerful fortifications are being equipped in Petropavlovka. Judging by the activity of the 41st Mechanized Brigade, this is where the defensive line will be built after the sinkov kazagari kovka line is broken through. Reinforcements have also been transferred from other areas. The forces of the 3rd Battalion of the 43rd Infantry Brigade, consisting entirely of mobilized Ukrainians, arrived in the forests near Masiutovka. The formations of the 108th Separate Mountain Assault Battalion of the 10th OGSHBR were withdrawn from the Svatovsky site to the landings northeast of Kupiansk and near Sinkovka. Due to the need to strengthen the defense of Kupiansk, another line has been weakened. In addition, an unidentified battalion of the 15th Border Detachment of the State Border Service of Ukraine appeared in Kupiansk and the surrounding area. The involvement of border guards indicates a certain shortage of personnel in the armed forces of Ukraine in the area. Kursen Direction Strengthening the Ukrainian Armed Forces Group in Krinky In Krinky, Ukrainian assault groups tried several times to expand the zone of control south of the so-called greenhouses. And to the southeast, units of the 38th Marine Brigade began to equip fortified strongholds. But in the last few days, Russian troops have been actively striking positions in the forest and in Krinky itself. Both aerial bombs and artillery shells were used, which drove the Ukrainian armed forces back to the starting point with losses. However, the situation actually remains the same. The command of the Ukrainian group, Katran, 
is transferring exactly as many assault groups as required to hold previously occupied positions. At the same time, in the central part of Krinky there is an increase in the number of advanced groups of the 38th Brigade, as well as 505 separate battalions of the 37th Brigade. They occupy private houses and set up shelters. Given the nature of the terrain, all this activity may also be a diversionary action that will force Russian units to be stay in the area while another strike is planned somewhere else. For example, from Achikov's side, 